This time on Tornado Titans, I'm in the Texas Panhandle and this storm is ready to do something interesting. Today, we're talking about my first chase back in two years. I can't believe it. It's been so long since I have had a real proper spring storm chase season. This is it. And today we're starting off in the Texas Panhandle in March, cool season setup, low instability, big time wind shear. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. Main storms are starting to form now, just uh, outside of Silverton, Texas, or way west and south, but they're gonna be moving quick. So the move is to Silverton, Texas, and that's where we're headed right now. Gotta get gas first. Meeting up with Jason and Eugene is incredible. Like, I cannot describe how awesome it is to see these two again. And I am so excited about us all chasing together. We're gonna really knock today out of the park. Today's plan, I think it's on track. We're in good shape. So basically these storms right here, we're watching those very carefully as they form. Based on the track of that one strengthening, we should go to Silverton. It's gonna go right by. Okay. Yeah, well, we're right here. Aren't we like, how far are we it, from it, Silverton? When it strengthens, it will turn we? five we're miles like right here. Yeah, miles right, right here. Okay. It will turn a little right. If as yeah, a little yeah. bit. But yeah, we're, we're in great position to intercept. So the goal today is not to commit too early. If you commit too early to something, you could really mess yourself up. We want to get something photogenic. And if we're going to go to the first storm that appears in a crowded situation, it's going to be HP and we're not going to see much. Our chase style, we don't go get in the bear's cage. So we have to wait. And I don't know uh, how everyone else is feeling, but that's not my strong suit. And whew, we'll see. That would mean our updraft base is, yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. So everybody in the group is like not wanting to take on a helicorp. My car is old, it's crappy, like let's do this. But everyone else is kind of not there. And I'm a team player, let's face it, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna wait and see uh, when we're ready to move. But we can't right now because there is a helicorp between us and the storm we wanna be at. So patience is the name of the game. It's either this, it's now or never today. So we're driving south toward this storm and it is producing a tornado. There's a cone, you can see it. Can't see it on video. I can see it with my eyes though. What, I mean, come on. What are we talking about here? So I am like really getting impatient. Is this the only tornado of the day? Is this the only thing we're going to see all day long? I don't know, I hope not. It's a little ways away, yeah. but we're in position to see it. So we finally get situated and you can just see the storm out in the distance and it's cranking but it's not quite ready to produce a tornado just yet. It is moving toward us. There's no roads though and this is frustrating because there's a storm about 15-20 miles away. You want to be closer but it's moving to, towards you about 45 miles an hour so there's plenty of time and that's what we have right now and we're gonna watch this storm get a lot closer. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So watching this storm right now. Sorry, had a tornado on it. We saw it briefly as we're headed down this way. And now just waiting. I think this backside here is gonna try it again pretty shortly. Strong inflow. Oh my gosh, a strong inflow. So it's really hard to see what this storm is doing right now. It's still 10, 15 miles away, but it looks like it's trying to produce a tornado. It's really hard to see underneath that mezzo what's going on, which is okay. I mean, this is the lot we have drawn today, but I really am wishing we were closer so we could get a better view and it's just not happening right now. And I am just so frustrated inside. I'm not showing it to the group though. We don't want them to get frustrated with me. Looks like it's getting closer. 
This storm's producing several tornadoes and we're waiting on it to drop a big one out here in open fields. Okay, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. There's a nice bowl. It's rotating fast. This thing is going to do it. Right here and right in front of us, our plan is paying off. We're going to get a photogenic tornado. Now this thing descends about halfway to the ground and it is just like, come on, you can do it. There's nothing out here. Yeah, it didn't. Now some members of our group that have binoculars, they can see that there is a ground circulation associated with this, which, okay, great, we saw a tornado. It's not very fulfilling. It's not what we were after. It's not that photogenic big tube that we, we were planning on, but hey, it's a tornado. That means we're on the board for the year. So that counts, right? So as is always the case in a situation like this, this storm really caught us really quick. It's like really close. So we have to be like on the move now. It's time to move. And this storm is getting HP in a hurry. That is, I mean, ah, uh, like, come on storm. You've been so great up until this point and now you're going HP. What the heck are you doing? As this storm goes HP, I mean, there's just no way to see it. It's just like, I'm not going up in that rain to see what's in there. That's, uh, that's something people who are braver or stupider than me would do, but I'm just, I'm not doing that. So we're gonna have to hope that this thing misses Silverton first off, that's job number one. And then second off, be ready for whatever comes after it. And just looking at this storm, this RFD occlusion is incredible. You can just see it. You can't see underneath the base, so we don't know if there's a tornado under there. But this thing's still a very dangerous storm. However, it's now past us and it's moving 50 miles an hour beyond us. That's going to be a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it. So I think today is done for me. As far as first chases go, today wasn't bad. Got three, four tornadoes, you know, baby things. I'm calling them tots from now on, little tots, because they weren't too special, but they were there and they were tornadoes. So I'm on the board for 2021, that's good. But I'm also reinvigorated with chasing. I was a little worried about it today. I was worried, is the passion still there? Can I still do this? Do I still care? And I do, so that's good. And onwards long season ahead. It's only March 13th. I can't wait. <laughs>